loves, welcome back to another Ray's Quick Tip. In today's video, we're going to be talking about waist bead measurements. This video is in partnership with MMV8 Wear, so make sure that at the end of this video, you go and check out their collection of authentic waist beads handcrafted by the Queen Mother Artisans of Ghana. So, what are waist beads? You've probably seen people walking around with these really pretty necklace looking things around their waist and just didn't know what they were, right? Waist beads are traditional African accessories, usually made by stringing tiny glass beads on wire or string and intended to be worn around the waist or the hips. Now, I'm not going to jump into the historical or cultural significance of waist beads in this video. We'll save that for a later video or a lengthy blog post. Depending on how you like to wear your waist beads, either as a single strand or several layers, we have a couple of different ways that you can measure your waist area so that you can make sure that you order correctly from brands like MMV8 Wear. The most popular ways to measure your waist are going to be your waist area. Here I'm talking about either right at your belly button or just above your belly button. Your abdomen stomach area, where that gut is, or your hips, or some charts will call it your high hips. So measuring yourself is really, really easy. All you're gonna need is some measuring tape, a little bit of patience and maybe even a piece of paper and a pen to write down your measurements so that you can go back and look at them later. How about let's go ahead and mark down my measurements. Is that okay? Cool. Again, you're going to need some flexible measuring tape. I'm going to start off with my waist area. Remember you have two options for your waist area. You can do right at your belly button, which is what I'm going to show you first, or you can do right above your belly button. Some people use waist beads to track their weight gain or weight loss. So this is another reason why I am suggesting that you write down your different measurements um, so that you can have that option to do that if you want to. So again, second option is right above your belly button. Next, we're gonna do the stomach abdomen area, you know, where we got that, that gut. Keep in mind that I have been keeping the measuring tape centered in my back to take these measurements. However, when I get ready to shift to do my hips or high hips, I am going to drop the tape to my lower back. Not at my butt, not at my thighs, but at my lower back to take my, um, my hips or some charts will call it the high hips. And there you have it. That's how you take your measurements. Now that you have your measurements, you can choose how you want to wear your waist beads. You can do the single strand or shoot for the multi-layered look. Either way, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on. And lastly, please go check out MMV8 Wear for their selection of handcrafted waist beads, other accessories, and awesome styles in clothing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.